so uh, in the last class i told indicial equation and its roots and according to uh, the roots uh, what will be the nature of solution so how to get a uh, indicial equation do you remember comparing lowest degree term coefficient right what is the form r into r minus 1 plus b not into r plus c not is equal to 0 right where b not am i audible yes yes sir. sir yes sir okay so where b not is the constant term in the power series representation of bx and c not in the c not is the power, constant term in the power series representation of cx right to aise likh sakte hain this means uh, in the in the function bx if you put x is equal to 0 you will get b not and uh, in the function cx if you put x is equal to 0 you will get c not and there, there is a shortcut and uh, two cases we have uh, sorry three cases we have discussed uh, first case the roots of the indicial equation are not deferred by integer right 1 2 or so case 2 roots are equal means double roots and case 3 roots are deferred by integer okay so i have shown the uh, solution types also for individual case again i am showing uh see when the roots are not differing by an integer then first solution will be x to the power r1 into summation am x to the power n and y2 will be x to the power r2 summation am x to the power m okay m start from 0 to infinity and so you can write it in that way na x to the power r1 sum m 0 to infinity am x to the power m 
and second solution x to the power r2 you know r1 r2 roots of the initial equation right yes yes m0 to infinity am x to the power m in the second case whenever uh, it is a double root means uh, roots are equal case first solution will be easier uh, it easier means in the sense it is the original form uh, x to the power r summation m 0 to infinity am x to the power m and you see second solution it includes logarithmic term and this series x to the power r into summation of am x to the power m and m start from 1 okay and the third case when roots are differing by an integer first solution again simpler x to the power first root into summation am x to the power m m 0 to infinity and second solution it contains logarithmic term k into y1 x ln x plus x to the power r2 into that series provided actually uh, in the third case there have a choice r1 r2 r1 will be greater than r2 okay r1 will be greater than r2 that, that means r1 minus r2 should be zero so first solution came for the larger root okay now i have uh, discussed this example uh, that uh, the uh, weiler cauchy equation for that type of equation uh, the auxiliary equation and initial equation both are same and you will get uh, solution in the form this y1 is equal to x to the power r1 and y2 is equal to x to the power r2 by frobenius method okay whenever roots are uh, not differ by integer but if it is a double root then you will get solution in that form x to the power r and x to the power r ln x so uh, actually yahan pe calculation dikhaya nahi ki kaise ye sab mila hai you have to consider the different cases uh, for particular value of b0 and c0 yahan pe b0 and c0 general case mein dikhaya hai to अगर बी नॉट सी नॉट पर्टिकुलर कोई कांस्टेंट ले लेते हैं इन दैट केस पता चलेगा कि क्या केस आएगा मतलब रूट्स uh, क्या होगा ओके तो आई थिंक वी स्टॉप इन द मिडल ऑफ दिस एग्जांपल टू वी वर वेरीफाइंग दैट एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो इट इज ए रेगुलर सिंगुलर पॉइंट एंड Uh, we were finding the uh, initial equation, right? So I think I have shown now that uh, x is equal to zero is a regular singular point for this equation, or not? Tell me. x into x minus one y double dash then three x minus one into y dash plus y is equal to zero. Okay. 
it is the equation and i told that uh, no need to verify whether uh, means x is equal to 0 no need, no need to show all the steps uh, whether x is equal to 0 is a regular singular point or not but uh, uh, means for practice i am i am showing uh, whether x is equal to 0 is a regular singular point or not fine so y double dash plus it is uh, 3x minus 1 divided by x into x minus 1 y double dash um, plus sir y dash na sorry y sir double dash. i'm looking into another term actually okay uh, 3x minus 1 divided by x into x minus 1 y dash plus 1 by x into x minus 1 y is equal to 0 now uh, you think it as y double dash plus bx by x into y dash plus cx by uh, x square into y is equal to 0 therefore what is uh, bx x minus 1 by x minus 3x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 and uh, what is cx look niche uh, x square you have to multiply uh, it by x numerator and denominator right so it will be x divided by x minus 1 right Is not it? Yes. So here BX and CX we got. Okay, I have not shown uh, that uh, regular singular point. I think uh, you can verify it. X into uh, PX and uh, X square into QX. Are they analytic at X equal to 0? x into px करने से ये x हट जाएगा and x square into qx करने से ये x हट जाएगा ऊपर में x आ जाएगा तो that p x into px and x square into qx both are analytic at x is equal to zero therefore uh, x is equal to zero is a regular singular point do I need to write or uh, you have understood Understood. X is equal to zero is a regular singular point. And I am finding Bx and Cx for shortcut. Okay. Uh, to find uh, uh, the indicial equation. That is a shortcut technique. But uh, whenever it is asked to solve uh, the OD, don't use that shortcut. So first of all, I am showing shortcut. Then later on, I will I will show the details work. So BX and CX I got fine by comparing by comparing with this form. Now what is B zero? Actually, it is B naught. One. One. And what is C naught? Zero. C zero actually. Zero. Therefore, indicial equation. See the form. R into R minus one plus B naught into R plus C naught. So what I will write? R into R minus one plus R into b naught means r into 1 plus c naught means 0 only this right or i am getting r square is equal to 0 okay so that is the shortcut
to find initial equation and its and its roots. Roots are zero comma zero, right? तो देखो अभी यहाँ पे जो कैलकुलेशन करके मिला था वही मिला था कि नहीं आर स्कोर इक्वल टू जीरो बाय सब्सटिट्यूटिंग दैट पावर सीरीज ओके तो इट इज इट इज द इक्वल रूट केस डबल रूट केस राइट so in double root case first solution uh, that can be obtained by usual way so i am showing by a proper technique uh, don't do in means whenever it is asked to solve this to aise form mein bhi likhna zaruri nahi hai directly from the first line uh, you can apply frobenius method so i am writing here x is equal to 0 uh, is a regular singular point so what you will do uh, let y is equal to x to the power r m 0 to infinity of oh. because i am writing infinity m is equal to 0 to no it is infinity na huh? yes <laughs> actually i am confused with that uh, legendary uh, m 0 to infinity a m x to the power m b a power series solution okay by frobenius method Since we are using Frobenius method, that is why y is equal to x to the power r m summation m zero to infinity a m x to the power m b a power series solution where a not not equals to zero. Okay. Or I can write uh, y is equal to uh, m zero to infinity a m x to the power m plus r therefore y dash will be m 0 to infinity m plus r a m x to the power m plus r minus 1 y double dash m 0 to infinity m plus r M plus R minus one, A M, x to the power M plus R minus two. Now substituting this, देखो अभी मतलब जो power series solution में किए थे, वही same technique ही कर रहे हैं. Double sub derivatives निकल रहे हैं. Then I am putting it into the equation. Okay. So substituting this in uh, equation one. So previous equation I'm denoting it as equation number one. Okay. So it is x square minus x. So x square minus x. Into uh, the series for y double dash m zero to infinity a. Are you following? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. M plus r m plus r minus one a m x to the power m plus r minus two. Okay, plus. Uh, 3x minus 1 into y dash. 3x minus 1 into y dash. M 0 to infinity. Uh, then m plus r a m x to the power m plus r minus 1. And last term y. Right. 
तो इट इज एम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी एम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी ए एम एक्स टू दावर एम प्लस आर इज इक्वल टू जीरो ना लुक फॉर द फास्ट इट इज एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स सो देर आर टू सीरीज एक्स स्क्वायर इन टू दैट सीरीज माइनस एक्स इन टू दैट सीरीज तो फास्ट सीरीज इट इज स्प्लिटेड इन टू टू सीरीज तो इफ आई मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एक्स स्क्वायर देन द सीरीज विल बी एम प्लस आर एम प्लस आर माइनस वन ए एम एक्स टू दावर एम प्लस आर राइट से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो ये x to the power m plus r minus अब x से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो ये that power will be x to the power m plus r minus one so m zero to infinity m plus r m plus r plus sorry m plus r minus one a m x to the power m plus r minus one एंड uh, ये जो सेकेंड है थ्री एक्स माइनस वन इंटू दैट सीरीज ये इसमें भी दो सीरीज हो जाएगा ये भी दो सीरीज हो जाएगा थ्री एक्स इंटू दैट सीरीज माइनस वन इंटू दैट सीरीज तो प्लस थ्री से थ्री एक्स से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो क्या होगा एम जीरो टू इंफिनिटी थ्री इंटू एम प्लस आर ए एम एक्स टू दावर एम प्लस आर राइट थ्री एक्स से अगर ये सीरीज को मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो यही होगा थ्री इंटू एम प्लस आर ए एम एक्स टू दावर एम प्लस आर माइनस वन इंटू दैट सीरीज तो सेम एम प्लस आर ए एम एक्स टू दावर एम प्लस आर माइनस वन एंड द लास्ट वन एम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी ए एम ए एम एक्स टू दावर एम प्लस आर इज इक्वल टू जीरो देखो ओवरऑल वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव फाइव सीरीज अध तो डू यू इमेजिन हाउ हाउ बिग इट इज मीन्स हाउ कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इट इज गोइंग टू बी now uh, in power series uh, what we did to sum all means to sum up all the summations what we did first we make it uh, make all the all the power of x same right x का पावर सब सेम लाए थे उसके बाद समेशन का लिमिट भी सेम लाए थे अरे यस यस तो वहां पे एक्चुअली एक्स टू दावर एम के फॉर्म पे लाए थे ना पावर सीरीज में जो भी था एम माइनस वन या एम प्लस वन वट एवर इट इज कॉन्वर्टेड इट टू एक्स टू दावर एम और एक्स टू दावर एस तो हियर वॉट यूल डू Uh, you will convert the power of x to m plus r. So m plus r minus one ko bhi m plus r form me m plus r or s plus r. Ye form me lana hai mujhe. So m plus r ye hai, chalega. Ye bhi chalega. Ye bhi kuch bhi nahi karna hai isme. So for second and uh, that. One, two, three, four. Fourth. Fourth. Second and fourth, you have to take some substitution to convert it to x to the power m plus r. So uh, better you take uh, for first, uh, third, and fourth. M is equal to s. Fine. So it will be x to the power s plus r. And for second and fourth, you take m minus one is equal to s. 
Look. इसको एस प्लस आर फॉर्म में लिखने के लिए एम माइनस वन मतलब ये एम एंड ये माइनस वन ये दोनों को जोड़ के जो आएगा उसको एस ले लेंगे तो ये एक्स टू दी पावर एस प्लस आर हो जाएगा ना सो इन दैट वे आई हैव टू कन्वर्ट ऑल द पावर्स ऑफ एक्स टू इन द फॉर्म एस प्लस आर सिमिलरली फॉर द फोर्थ सीरीज Now I am writing first, third, fifth. For the first, third, fifth series. We take m is equal to s, and uh, second, second and fourth, second and fourth for the second and fourth series. We take. M minus one is equal to S. Okay. Now uh, change the uh, limits and other uh, terms accordingly. So first M is equal to S only. So summation S zero to infinity S plus R S plus R minus one. S plus R minus one A S x to the power S plus R. Right. Second, for the second, I have taken M minus one is equal to S. Therefore, if you put M is equal to zero, S will be M minus one S. M zero means S minus one. Minus one. So lower limit uh, starting from minus one. Okay. Next will be minus right. Yes. Minus s minus one to infinity, and m minus one s. That means m is equal to s plus one. So put m is equal to s plus one. Uh, s plus r plus one, s plus r plus one, then e s plus one minus one, so s plus r, s plus r, uh, a s plus one. Next x to the power. S plus R. This third for the third m is equal to S. So S is equal to zero to infinity. S zero to infinity. Three. Uh, S plus R. A S. S plus R A S. And then x to the power s plus r. And for the fourth, we took m minus one s. So again, s minus one to infinity. S minus one to infinity. M plus r. So means s plus r plus one, right? A s plus one x to the power s plus r and uh, this last one m is equal to s 
is 0 to infinity uh, a s x to the power s plus r is equal to 0. Now I am doing one thing. Uh, I am summing up those summations whose limits are same and uh, power is also same. So I can add first, third, fifth, right? is 0 to infinity s plus r s plus r minus 1 a s next this plus 3 into s plus r a s and last one Actually, all the term contains a is right. Okay, that's good. Plus a s x to the power s plus r, and uh, we can add these two series also, which are starting from minus one. So minus s minus 1 to infinity s plus r plus 1 s plus r a s plus 1 plus s plus r plus 1 a s plus 1 x to the power s plus r is equal to 0 now, uh, can we add these two series? No. Right. No. So, to add these two series, what is the largest lower index? Zero. S is equal to zero. Therefore, you have to extract uh, some terms from the second series. So, S starting from minus one, that means the next term will be zero s minus 1 next term s minus 0 right and next term s1 and so on so if you extract the term for s is equal to minus 1 the rest of the series start from s equals to 0 are you getting or not just say 0 yes. say 0 ke liye term ko alag karte hai, 1 se likhte hai. Vase yaha pe minus 1 ke liye term ko agar alag karenge to summation kahan se likhenge 0 se So, first series I am writing as it is s 0 to infinity s plus r s plus r minus 1 s plus r minus 1 and then 3 into s plus r then uh, 1 a s x to the power s plus r and you tell me if if you extract uh, the term for minus 1 then what will be the term for s is equal to minus 1 so put s is equal to minus 1 here so r that will be r minus 1 so r into r minus 1 a what not and a e were a term is minus 1 to r plus r into a naught मतलब ये माइनस ऑलरेडी मल्टीप्लाई है तो वो माइनस होगा x टू दी पावर व्हाट r r और 
r minus 1 r minus 1 तो अगर माइनस को कॉमन ले लेते हैं तो ये प्लस ही होगा आर यू गेटिंग ऑन नॉट फॉर ए सी इक्वल टू माइनस वन दैट इज द टर्म इज नॉट इट Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the rest you write it as a series minus s zero to infinity, uh, s plus r plus one into s plus r into a s plus one. So a s plus one, both are common. So I am writing out into Sorry, plus s plus r plus one whole a s plus one x to the power s plus r is equal to zero. Now you can add these two series. So I am writing that separated term. at the beginning minus r into r minus 1 a not plus r into a not x to the power r minus 1 and rest of the series uh, s 0 to infinity s plus r s plus r minus 1 3 into s plus r plus 1 into a s uh, minus s plus r plus 1 s plus r plus s plus r plus 1 Into a s plus one whole bracket x to the power s plus r is equal to zero. So to write the equation, how many means how much space I need? I think. So that is our final line. We have written. Uh, we have. Summed up all the series and written in one series. Okay. Now, what is the lowest degree term? Can you tell me? It is a single series, right? Overall, overall, you see that last line and tell me what is the lowest degree term? X to the power r minus one. Yes, x to the power r minus one. Because uh, if you if you look into that uh, summation, a is zero to infinity. So if you put a is equal to zero first term, x to the power r, right? Then x to the power r plus one. So that x to the power r minus one, it is the smallest one. And by equating the coefficient of lowest term, we will get the what indicial equation so here by equating this equals to 0 you will get indicial equation fine so always uh, to remember that uh, equating coefficient of lowest degree term we get Indicial equation uh, minus r into r minus one a not plus r into a not is equal to zero. Right? Right hand side में तो कुछ भी नहीं है तो zero ही होगा. 
नाउ सिंस ए नॉट इज नॉट इक्वल्स टू जीरो देखो यहाँ पे ए नॉट नॉट इक्वल्स टू जीरो इनिशियली वी है वो काम आ रहा है राइट सिंस ए नॉट इज नॉट इक्वल्स टू जीरो तो ये माइनस भी चला जाएगा एंड आर इन टू आर माइनस वन प्लस आर इज इक्वल टू जीरो After simplifying, I can write. So, which implies R square is equal to zero, which is the indicial equation. Fine. And uh, after comparing the other coefficients, there are uh, uh, means other coefficient means that general degree term ka coefficient that that will give you what? comparing uh, the coefficient of general degree term the relation we got it is called recurrence relation is not it so what is our recurrence relation x to the power x plus r ka coefficient equate karke milega S plus R, S plus R minus one, uh, plus three into S plus R, plus one, A S minus uh, S plus R. Actually, ये ये term क्या है? S plus R plus one का होल्ड्स क्या है ना? From these two terms, if you take a s plus r plus one, then it will be s plus r plus one means it is s plus s plus r plus one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. Do you get it or not? Yes, sir. We will take common. Ah, you take common s plus r plus one from both. Yes, sir. The rest rest will be s plus r plus one. So it is s plus r plus one whole square. And here a start from where zero. So which implies that a s plus one will be s plus r into s plus r minus one plus three into s plus r plus one divided by S plus R plus one whole square AS. So, which is the recurrence relation? Now on that uh, recurrence relation, you will put you put uh, s is equal to zero, s is equal to one, s is equal to two. You will get the relation. But uh, it is related to R, right? मतलब यहाँ पे R है. अब ये R क्या put करेंगे? From the indicial equation. So R square is equal to zero. Therefore R will be zero comma zero, right? Root sir zero comma zero. तो R is equal to zero के लिए first root तो यहाँ से मिल जाएगा मतलब first sorry R zero के लिए first solution मिल जाएगा if you put R is equal to zero you will get the first solution you put R is equal to zero in that recurrence relation and then put S is equal to zero one two three and so on so for R is equal to zero that recurrence relation will be what a s plus one is equal to uh, a s into s minus one, a s into s minus one plus three s plus one divided by s plus one whole square a s. Now here you put a s is equal to zero, a s is equal to one, a s is equal to two, a s is equal to three. 
you will get the relation relation among the coefficients okay so that i am showing we are saying that here a s is equal to a s plus 1 is equal to a s is it so let me check for r is equal to 0 ye ho raha hai ki nahi to upar mein kya hai a square minus s plus s yes. upar wala s plus 1 ka whole square hai na simplify karo a square minus s plus 3 s plus 1 so it is a square plus 2 s plus 1 yes sir so it is s plus 1 whole square so therefore a s plus 1 is equal to a s i am getting a simplest uh, form of the coefficient relation simplest form of the recurrence relation yahan se matlab ye sab value aasani se mil jayega right you put s is equal to 0 then a 1 is equal to a not you put s is equal to 1 a 2 is equal to a1 and which is equal to a0. You put s is equal to 2, a3 is equal to a2 and which is equal to a0. And s is equal to 3, a4. So a4 is equal to a3 and previous step a3, a0. So all the coefficients are related to a0, right? Therefore, solution I can write y is equal to x to the power r, that means x to the power 0, a0 plus a1 x plus a2 x square मतलब ये initial वाला जो form है उसको split करेंगे तो ऐसे ही होगा ना ये ये जो form है इसमें summation को अगर split करते हैं तो क्या होगा x to the power r into a0 plus a1 x plus a2 x square plus a3 x cube plus a4 x square ऐसे तो I have put r is equal to 0 and uh, other values I am putting uh, a3x cube and so on. So from all the term I can take a0 common because all the coefficients are a0. So it is a0 into 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube and so on. And actually it is it is a well known series. Uh, that series is for tell me 1 by 1 minus x. X to the power zero, sir. Ha, x to the power zero, one. Na? I one. Okay, sir. Okay. So I I got one solution by that method, but another root. I have no other root, right? No other value of the root. Only zero comma zero. So if you put r zero again, then you will get the same thing. So I will not get another independent solution by that method. Isn't it? So I am getting one solution, it is not the whole part. It is a second order, uh, the OD, it is a second order OD, na? So second order OD ka solution, kaise formula hona, hota hai? A0 into, matlab, C1 into Y1 plus C2 into Y2. So I have not get the uh, solution in that form. It is A0 into A, function so i have got y1 that is y1 actually okay now how to find y2 that i will tell you in the next class so it is a big task actually fruminius method if it is asked that solve the ode by fruminius method it is a big task finding up to one solution still it is okay means up to y1 but agar y2 bhi bolega nikalne ke liye ye bahut hi bada hai so up to that process is clear or not jo bhi series hoga series ko simplify karna hai and uh, ek hi ek series mein banana hai then you uh, equate the coefficients <laughs> And uh, lowest degree term coefficient equals to zero gives you indicial equation, and general term coefficient gives you uh, what 
recurrence relation then in that recurrence relation put the value of r you will get one solution one solution uh, getting one solution it is simple process but finding another solution that we have to see okay i will tell you in the next class तो यहाँ पे y1 मिला है y2 कैसे मिलेगा वो मैं बताऊंगा ओके आई टेक अटेंडेंस डोंट लीव your section give me 17 right give me 17 okay after uh, giving attendance you may leave okay sir number 742 so 742 yes sir 44 yes sir 45 present so 46 47 48 present sir 49 present sir 51 present sir 52 present sir 53 present sir 55 56 present sir 58 present sir 61 present sir 63 present, present sir 64 present sir 65 66 present sir 70 present sir 71